The greatest supermarket in Germany was built more than a century ago, the Kaufhaus des Westens, the Westens shopping house, or KDW as it's called. Uh, the word supermarket doesn't even do it justice. It is like a shopping palace. Sounds amazing, actually. Looks amazing the more you read about it. It won't surprise you that the original owners of the store were Jewish. And so in 1933, when the Nazis came to power, they were boycotted. Here's a picture of Nazis outside the store, and you can read their sign, Deutsche kauft nicht bei Juden, forgive my accent. It means Germans don't buy from Jews. So the Jewish owners were pressured into surrendering the property under duress. It was the beginning of the Holocaust, of course. Well, it's 2015 now, and the Kadave is as fashionable as ever. In 1933, that fashion was kicking out their Jewish owners. In 2015, what's old is new again, and they did the old Kaufnisch Bayuden thing again, but this time they did it to themselves. They banned Jewish products, like Israeli wine from the Golan Heights. It's part of an anti-Semitic wave across Europe. The European Union is actually debating labeling all products that are imported from Israel. I wonder if they'll go for the original yellow stars. I don't know, maybe they've got a few left over in the basement of the Kadave. Yeah, Europe is burning with Muslim fascists, shooting up bistros, blowing themselves up. Muslim fascists intent on murdering Europeans by the hundred. But yeah, let's ban the Jews. That's the problem. After worldwide publicity, Kadave reversed its decision, saying they acted too quickly. Yeah, I'm not sure if the quickly part was the problem. I think it's more the Jew bashing part. But hey, look at the upside for them. The 800,000 Muslim migrants who have poured into Germany in recent months, now they know where they can shop amongst friends. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.